Hello. So it's late September here in the UK and despite the glorious sunshine, the temperatures are definitely starting to drop. And now's the time where our attention starts turning towards looking for insulated jackets to take us through the autumn and winter months. And today I'm going to talk to you about one of my favourites, the Arcteryx Proton FL. So continue watching if you'd like to find out more about the jacket. So the main purpose of this jacket is to provide a bit of extra warmth when you're undertaking high output activities, so hiking, running, climbing, anything where you just need that bit of extra protection from the elements, but to keep warm on a chilly day. What I find sets this jacket apart from other, jacket, other insulated jackets I own is just how breathable it is. So this is one of my go-to pieces for when I'm hiking or trail running and I find that I need some extra warmth but I don't want to overheat uh, and this has been designed with breathability at the forefront. Um, no matter how hard I'm working in cold conditions I just find it keeps a real good kind of climate inside the jacket and I, I find that I'm not sweating too much or overheating but it's just giving me that extra boost of warmth that you often need in colder weather. Arcteryx well, badged this jacket as more of a, a summer jacket, but what I tend to find is that uh, in the summer and autumn months, I'm often fine just wearing it as a standalone jacket over a, uh, over a base layer. And then in the winter months, I tend to layer it as a mid layer underneath a soft shell or a hard shell, depending on the weather. Um, and again, providing I'm active, I do find it just keeps me extremely toasty. Um, whether it's summer or winter, providing I've got the right layering system in place. So it's worth mentioning that although this jacket is badged as an insulating jacket, it's not the kind of jacket that I'd wear on a really cold day when I've stopped for lunch, for example. It definitely keeps you warm when you're doing higher output activities in cold weather, but once you've stopped, you definitely need to reach for either a layer to protect it or a, a warmer jacket. But it's not been designed for that purpose, so I wouldn't recommend it as a jacket if you just want something to keep you warm as an everyday winter coat. Uh, it's not designed for that purpose. So I thought I'd better mention about fit. It's definitely designed more of an athletic fit jacket, just to fit over a base layer only. There isn't a massive amount of room underneath to fit other layers, but you wouldn't want to. For me, this is either a mid layer that you'd lay under a shell or soft shell in really cold weather, or a jacket that you can layer over a base layer in milder temperatures where you just need a bit of warmth and a little bit of extra protection from the elements. Right, so I thought I ought to mention um, how this jacket performs in wet and windy weather. So it's not designed to be either waterproof or windproof um, but it does block out some of the wind as I say it's primarily designed to be breathable so it won't block out the same amount of wind as a, a windproof jacket will uh, and in wet weather it will be rain up to a point but again uh, in really heavy rain you'll have to put a, a waterproof jacket over it water will start to come through after a point in time been in prolonged rain but light showers things like that absolutely fine it will keep you uh, keep you nice and dry so I'll just do a very quick run through of the features of the jacket um, <coughs> four pockets two chest pockets fit quite a bit of stuff in them You've got two side pockets again fairly deep and they're insulated as well to keep your hands warm when it's cold got a hood that's not helmet compatible but it will fit over a cap. The hood's not insulated but obviously it just keep the, uh, the wind off your head if, in, a, in a cold windy day. And the final thing to mention is you do have hem adjusters on the bottom just to seal out cold drafts if it's a particularly chilly day. And that's pretty much it feature wise pretty much everything you need for this type of jacket. So to summarise, if you're looking for 
an insulated jacket that's breathable and the kind of thing that may replace a fleece when you're looking to do higher output activities uh, in cooler weather this is definitely one that's worth considering um, I hope you found the uh, the review useful if you did please consider subscribing to the channel to uh, watch some of my future gear reviews I'll also put a link in the description below to a playlist of other hiking gear reviews that I've done uh, if you've got any questions if I haven't answered everything in the review just post them in the comments below and I'll do my best to, uh, to answer them other than that thank you very much for watching uh, and I'll catch up with you on the next video bye for now